Hi everyone! Welcome to Provisual Tutorials. In this video, I will show you how you can place and showcase your design using Provisual and 3D mockups. I'll also explain why this is an important and, very often, an overlooked part of selling your design to a client. The process I'm going to show will help you save a lot of time. And as you know, time is the most critical asset, not only for you, but also for business owners. So, say goodbye to the never-ending revisions, and instead, spend your free time exploring the 3D mockups and uplifting your presentations. In this video, I'm going to use a pre-designed beverage brand, which includes a brand logo, color palettes, and patterns. Time to open a 3D mockup in ProVisual to showcase your design in action, to give your client a real idea of how their branding will look on the apparel, packaging, transport, devices, and on many other interesting objects. Let's see how you can implement your creative ideas with 3D mockups. Let's navigate to the 3D Models section and select an object for our tutorial. The library contains a vast variety of high-quality 3D mockups, and it gets updated weekly. In this tutorial, we will learn how to customize the 3D mockup of a beverage can. I think this one is what we need. Let's create a new project. On the left side of the window that has just opened, you can see the panel with scenes. Here you can create new variations of the 3D mockup, each with different design, materials, and environment settings. You will be able to add the new ones and delete the ones you don't need. Below, in the scene elements, we see the structure of the 3D model, where all separate elements are grouped into the folders. On the right side of the screen, you can see the design layers, where you can add your design and work with each design layer separately. Below, you can find the panel with the setup of the material you select. At the bottom of the viewing window, there is a toolbar which you can use to perform quick actions with the 3D model, some of which we will cover in this tutorial. To see more useful features and possibilities of ProVisual, you can go to the Tutorials panel by clicking on the corresponding icon at the lowermost toolbar. This is how our CAN 3D mock-up looks like. ProVisual has only high-quality and detailed models. Let's add our design to the CAN. To add the design, click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. You can also download a UV map and create your design in another editor. I've prepared several design elements. Let's add the first one. In this window, we see the editor, where we can move and modify our design. Here on the left, the position of our design on the 3D model is always displayed in real time. Saving the design. Up next, we will add the logo on our design clicking again on the Add Design button at the Design Layers panel. Great! The design is now added to the can. We only need to set up the material. Let's do it. We'll start with the materials of the can itself. Select the Background tab on the Design Layers panel to activate it. Then click on the Material tab to open a large ProVisuals Materials Gallery. Select another material in the Metal section. This one, for example. Changing the color of this material now. You can either select or customize the color using the color palette, or enter the color code manually. Let's zoom in a little for a more precise setup of the material. I'm making this material more matte and adding a bit of volume to the texture. Great! Now let's move on to the top and change the material to something more matte. This one looks good. Next, let's set up the material. Okay, now the key. We will change the color to a darker one. 
like this. Up next, let's switch to the bottom of the can and set it up. Turn off the drop shadow to see the materials better. I'll paste the same material I've used at the top before. Like this, you can turn the drop shadow back on. As we are done with the materials now, I'll show you how you can add more personality to your design. You can apply a different material to your design. First O oh, fall. Let's do it. Select the design layer on the design layers panel to activate it. Now select a different material in the gallery and set it up. In the material setting, let's change the texture size. Next, we will brighten up the material and we'll make it more matte. Nice, looks good. Next, we will work with the layer with the graphic design. Let's select it. Now let's select some original material in the materials gallery. I do like this one. We can tweak it as well. Let's make this design layer appear lighter and softer. We do this in the material settings. Provisual has this wonderful bevel feature that can help us create voluminous elements. Let's try it. This is simply amazing. We only need to add a bright background for our mock-up. We have lots of pre-made background options in ProVisual. We can choose a solid fill as the background. Or we can go for a gradient fill. Here we can select the colors. And also set the direction of the fill, linear or radial. You can also pick one of the pre-designed backgrounds that we've made for you. Or add your own image. Let's add one we've made ourselves. After this, if you need to change the lighting of the 3D mockup, you can open the environment settings. Here, you can change the position of the light sources vertically and horizontally. You also can set up the color of the light sources. I will slightly modify the light sources horizontally and vertically, and will add the light to the spotlight. Like this, the tin can looks even better. Nice. In Provisual, you can turn on moving lights to see how the light enhances the shape and texture of the 3D model. Rotate the 3D model to see how the design looks in motion. Save your clients money by using ProVisual. You achieve this as you visually demonstrate how your design and client's product will look in real life before even printing it posting it on social media, or other online platforms. Thanks to ProVisual, you provide your client with a visual representation of your design and confidence in the decisions made. One more reason I like working with ProVisual is that I can quickly suggest the diversity of the design options or additional materials for a brand and then sell them to the client. Saving the project. After you've completed your design, you can share it with everyone by clicking the share button. You'll get a shareable link to open the interactive viewer with your 3D model. Share it with colleagues, friends, or clients. You got this with ProVisual. And that's the end of our tutorial on designing beverage tin can. We hope this has been helpful for you. See you in the upcoming tutorials.